G'day, Aussie Dunk here. Back to you with another video. Uh, as you can see in the background, uh, I'm not in my usual spot. Uh, and cards aren't the only things that are collectible. In the background, you'll see all these lovely special plates from, I'd say, the early 1900s through to the mid 1900s. And I just want to make a nice background. Considering I'm going to be opening up some more Gilded Age Hobby Box cards. Now I've already opened up two lots of those, but I'm going to do a third lot now. And I've just been looking back over the internet and studying up the Gilded Age. And I just found something very interesting. So... I decided, let's have a look at some of the history of the so-called Gilded Age. And there you have it. The Gilded Age extended roughly from a period from 1877 to 1896. And it was mainly to do with American and the, the American uh, economy and their history of their businesses, etc., etc. But as we flip through this... Oops, I found some very interesting information. First of all, your presidents during the, during the Gilded Age era, era and I don't know half of these names, but apparently you had presidents Ulysses Grant, Rutherford Hayes, James Garfield, Grover. And that's the name I do recognise because we in Australia joke about Grover. And being a greedy president, but there you go. And in key events, I found something even more interesting. During this time, you had all these things happening, like the Second Industrial Revolution, the invention of telephone, the Great Railroad Strike. And if I go right down here, what, what is this? And I'm... Um, what is this here? The founding of the AFL. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Great Australian Football League was founded during the Gilded Age. So therefore, I thought, why not show you some of my sports cards? From the Gilded Age. No, these are from the modern age. But my team... The Saints, and that's some of their cards there, had, and I look at the back of this card, this, this is my team, St Kilda, and I'm also New Orleans Saints, but St Kilda Saints, the AFNL organ, inaugural teams, you go back here, St Kilda Football Club was founded back in 1873, so, there you go, my, my, Personal favourite AFL team was actually formed during the Gilded Age. Now, there's a bit of history on the Australian side of things, but now we'll go back to what I'm actually here for, and that is to open up some cards. So I've got my cards here. You know how I do this. I just dig in here and I go one, two, four, and there we have it, five packs of the Gilded Age Hobby Collection. Now let's see what we get in this. Let's see if we can pick out something nice and interesting to look at. And I'm going to learn a bit more about American history, of course. So here we go. Pack number one. What have we got here? A drawing of Alexander Graham Bell and his great invention, the telephone. Okay, here we have Mr. William Morris. Who was William Morris, you say? He was a practitioner in the arts and craft movements of the United States. Victoria Woodhull. Uh, made her first fortune as a medium. Okay. Sherman, the Antitrust Act, 
Fill up damn fourth armor. What have we got here? A painting of Vincent Van Gogh. There you go, a bit of European history of the age. Buffalo Bill sitting on his pony. Sorry, horse. Uh, Frederick Douglass. Absinthe, what's that all about? The Green Fairy is highly alcoholic drink. There you go. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? And finally, we've got this special book. Oh, the, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. There we go. Must be the author of Lyman Frank Baum, a former chicken rancher and salesman, wrote The Wizard of Oz and its 13 sequels for theatre. There you go. And that was one of 149 there. Okay, next up. Still looking for something interesting. I haven't pulled out any bones or dirt or whatnots. But let's see what else we've got here. Okay, the Army versus Navy. That must be talking about football for sure. That's the only thing I can see there. The Army versus Navy rivalry between the United States military, whatever, is one of the oldest football rivalries. The first meeting was November 29, 1890. Mike Kelly, Boston, Henry Robson Richardson. There's a picture of the Wall Street Journal. Thomas Eakins. The Oklahoma Land Rush. Geronimo. The Homestead Strike. The Cuban Giants. Looks like a baseball team from Cuba. The first professional baseball team compromised entirely of black players was formed in 1885. There you go. Learning something new. And here we have another artiste or paintwork there. George's, I can't pronounce that name. Okay, next pack. Let's go. Yeah, now that's an interesting one. That's a photo of world-renowned Gandhi. Here we go. Everybody knows about him. Frederick Remington. Richard Morris Hunt. The Panic of 1893 must be a, in, uh, what you call it, Mon monetary panic or something. The ZBD Transformer, some interesting aluminium, or as you guys would say, aluminum. aluminum. Charles Gattel, Lewis Comfort Timphony, what's that all about? An American artist who is fa famous for his art nouveau and decorative work, including stained glass. He was the sons of Charles Lewis Tiffany, the founder of the jewellery firm Tiffany & Co. There you go. James Nay Smith. And a picture of the Olympics in Athens. The modern Olympic age. There you go. Okay, next pack. Uh, something to do with horsing around. The strikes, the Pullman strikes. The Montgomery Ward. Louis Henry Sullivan. Boss Tweed. Tin Pan Alley. What is Tin Pan Alley? Somebody would be able to tell me, but I don't know, so... Section of New York's West 28th Street. 
It was known for its large number of music publishers and shops and demonstrates, etc. The Chinese exclusion case. Some sort of law or something there. Uh, the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 halted Chinese immigration for 10 years. There you go. Okay, the Whitechapel murders. Jack the Ripper. Candy dances at the railway. And a picture of Miss Eleanor Roosevelt. A diplomatic activist and first and the first lady, of course. And the final pack for this opening. Let's see if I can get something interesting or not. I wish I could, but doesn't look like it. So what have we got here? The Ogress of Reading. Who's the Ogress of Reading? Amelia Elizabeth Dyer, the Ogress of Reading, was a British serial killer. Now, what's she doing in here? Who knows, but there you go. British, a British serial killer. There we go. Beatrix, Beatrix Potter, the tale of Peter Rabbit. And we got here the electrocardiogram. The Eiffel Tower. We're getting a bit of European stuff here, boys and girls. Custer's Last Stand. Nelly Bly. Have we got anything interesting? Dr. Sigmund Freud. Uh, there's a picture of Pearl Harbor. At what stage of history, I don't know. Scott Joplin. And... A Mr. William James again in a foil, which is a parallel, one of 149. The father of American psychology. So that's where we'll end it, where people say, I probably need a psychologist badly. But they're probably right. But who knows? This is Ozzy Dunk saying, uh, hope you had some fun. Might, hope you saw something interesting. And I will catch you guys again with another video down the track. I'm not too sure when, but uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of my life. And I hope I give you guys stuff that's good to watch. And I will catch you all later. Cheers, everybody.